What is going on, Charles Botenston? And we are going to be talking about the three things that men are, look for in a girl. Obviously, I did this about guys, so don't get offended, women. This is obviously from a guy's point of view that essentially, you know, I already said in the last video, I don't know if you saw the last video or this is the first video you've ever seen, but I live in New York City. I'm 33, 32, turning 33. I've dated many women and I've approached many, many, many women. We're living in a different time now, okay? The time that we're living in right now is a very uh, decisive, divisive, I should say, not decisive, and very decisive, but a very divisive. So in other words, there are things, there are traits that a lot of the guys are looking for, whether they actually express it or not. They probably don't express it because they feel they are not allowed to express it, or if they express it, they get shunned for it, okay? These are the things, and this is not based on research, this isn't, yes, a lot of it is ancestral. In other words, we just feel, the reason that women go after guys that have the resources or are physically healthy is because those are one of the two major things that women look for, which is, do they have the resources to provide and do they, can they protect me, okay? And this isn't because they're gonna get into a fight, but this is ancestral. This goes back millions of years, millions of years. This isn't just like, yeah, 50 years ago, this is why we like guys that are, no. That's why guys, girls like guys that are chiseled and everything like that. All right, so getting into number one is men, we like femininity. Okay, femininity, uh, not femininism, femininity. Femininity is openness. It is, it is joy. It is, is love. It is a woman just being free. You know, you ever see that, that one woman on the dance floor and she's just free and open and whatever? Guys are drawn to that because they're smiling, they're giggling, they're, they're very feminine. They have that, 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 that nurturing, that motheristic, yet they have like a little, not an edge, but they have that little like, yeah, I could stand up for myself. The reason I bring that up, recently I've been going out on a couple of the dates and going, to, going out on a couple of the dates, going out on a couple of dates, okay? When I go out on a date, I've noticed two things. Number one, women curse a lot more. I'm fine with women cursing, but not every third word, that's, that's just not attractive. And the second thing is they compete. I, you're not my boy, you're not my bro, okay? So when they go, yeah, I was out with this guy, obviously in a de not in a deep voice, but they say, yeah, I was out with this guy and, or you know, my boss and this, this fucking guy, I'm telling you. Bro, can you, look? I'm like what? Like, I'm not your bro, I'm not your dude, okay? Stop cursing so much, it's not attractive, okay? Maybe there are some guys that like every fifth, tenth word to be fucking or shit or that's just not me. If we're at a hockey game or at a football game and there's things that are emotional or we're in a fight or watch, I don't really care. But we're not just, you know, and it kind of loosens the story. If your story is so, such a good told story, you look at Brian Regan, okay? Brian Regan is a, is a uh, and I don't want this to be like anti-cursing, but that's just not really feminine. Okay, feminine is free, open, and nurturing, and just, ha, ah, you know? Just like you probably wouldn't date a very feminine guy, okay? That's number one. Number two is allow the guy to cultivate his masculinity, okay? Masculinity, I already did a video about this. There's three things, okay? Number one is protection, comfort, and leadership, okay? Allow him to lead allow him to protect, whether that's going on the outside. I understand there's this, this new wave of feminism that's coming through and every woman wants to be a guy and everyone, every guy wants to be a girl. I know that's fine and dandy. That's not good for a healthy relationship, to be honest. I've seen a lot, a lot of women, and they, <laughs> I don't wanna say anything about it, but a lot of women have, the reason they're not having sex with their husband or their boyfriend, who I'm friends with these, the, the, the girls, they're like, they're like, yeah, we don't really have sex anymore. Why? I don't know. There's just like, when you get into the, yeah, I don't know. It's because he either has lost his masculinity or he actually had it beaten out of him, okay? And this isn't like a shot at women. This is more of an objective point of view that I've noticed the, the femininity of what I used to like, I don't see as much anymore, okay? Number two is I was in a relationship where I was able to thrive with my masculinity because I'm a very 
I don't want to say it, but I'm a, I'm a guy that likes to lead and protect and comfort. And maybe that's because of my nurturing abilities or whatever the case is. But allowing that, allowing him to nurture the leadership, the protection, the comfort, him, him valuing his resources, whether that's his job or going to the gym or hanging out with his buddies or, you know, just him making decisions, being decisive, not questioning the decisions. And I'm not saying not questioning the decisions ever. I'm saying, okay, good. He made a decision. He's not wobbly walking around, I don't know, what do you want to do? Do you want to do that? Is that okay with you? What time? We've, women, we've all been out on dates, you know, where the guy, or at least I've heard, you know, uh, girls would tell me, yeah, he didn't know, he wanted to know the time, was the time okay, okay? Is this place okay, is this, listen, we're in New York City, okay? You can't really go wrong with a place. You can't really go wrong. You just say, does 7.30 at this place work? No, okay. Where it works, closer to work, perfect. And then you choose a place. It's not that big of a deal. Number one, femininity, just embrace that beautiful inner spirit. Number two is allow the guy to cultivate his masculinity, okay? His direction in life. Allow him to pursue what he wants to do, okay? His, his actual legacy. That's all we have is our legacy. That's all, that's it. We don't, we don't have a baby out of us. We can't produce that. Number three is the general upkeeping of yourself. And the general upkeeping is, and I understand, it gets really hard when you're in a marriage or whatnot, and it's really hard if the guy doesn't do it. That's why I made a video about guys, okay? So this isn't like, women, you should only do this. There's a video where I say, guys, you gotta step your game up when Protection was the third thing that I said. Protection comes from protecting, but that's physically. Can you also physically show that you can protect? Because that leads into comfort, which was number one that I said. And then number two for the guys, which was leadership. Can you lead? That's at work, that's in the relationship. Can you lead it forward? Is there a direction you're going in life? Is there a legacy you're leading? Okay, no, and then going back to the general upkeep, the general upkeep, we are still physical beings, okay? If you go all the way back, millions of years, all the way through time, evolution, men, we provided protection, which was through actual physical protection. And number two, we also provided food, we also provided potential leadership or resources to ensure that our family, which would be you, and our children, our offspring, would actually survive, okay? We looked at women and we say, okay, who's the healthiest one? Because that person, that woman, will probably have the baby that lives past birth, okay? And you look at them physically, we say, are they physically healthy, okay? And then we would c cultivate, if they're physically healthy, that they would probably have a healthy offspring. And this is going back millions, hundreds of thousands of years, all the way through till we were just a little thing in the water, okay? So why do I say that? Physically, we haven't, we haven't lost that draw. That's why makeup and hair and dress and fashion and all those trends are more on the feminine women's side, okay? Because that's what we look for. How are they put together? That general upkeep actually influences us to ensure, well, I don't wanna lose her, so I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna have a general upkeep. I'm actually gonna be having some kind of fashion trend, all right? so. I know this was broad, and I know that my, my uh, YouTube audience is mostly men. I think it's 75% men. Listen, embrace your femininity. You're, you're, you're just, you're beautiful, just feminine energy. We love that. We love that. When we're around it, we want to impress you because you're not one of the guys. If, if you act like a guy, we will treat you like a guy. In other words, we'll compete instead of try and win you over, okay? Number two, allow the guy to embrace his masculinity, which is leadership, comfort, providing, resources, his legacy. And number three is the general upkeep that we can say, this is, this is my partner, and be able to show, wow, she is beautiful, she is amazing, I love her. Be able to show her off, look, oh my gosh. Just like hopefully you could show us off and say, look at my man. He's, he's awesome, he provides, da da da, okay? It's not a 50-50 relationship, it's 100-100, okay? So, have an awesome day. I hope this uh, resonated a little bit, probably not, but even if it didn't, what are you gonna do? Leave your comments below. This is one man's, one straight man's 
vision of being 32 years old and has approached thousands of girls and has gone dates and whatever. So it's really just what I've noticed changing over the last couple of years. And it's just something that, eh, just like the guys have become a little bit too, you know, feminine, a lot of the women have become a little too masculine and we're like, we're like one, all right? And it's, eh, all right? So subscribe to the video, leave your comments below.